let's look at direction ratios of a vector or a line to begin with let's focus on the position vector so let's say a comma b comma c that allows me to create a position vector a comma b comma c let's move it a little bit hey now let's define uh, the unit vectors i is equal to 1 comma 0 comma 0 j is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 0 a is equal to uh, 0 comma 0 comma 1 okay now let's actually create that vector vector uh, a yes so we have the unit vectors we have a uh, vector a now uh, let's see how many steps we have to go or how many units we have to go uh, towards along the x-axis how many along the y-axis and how many along the z-axis yes so let's say segment from 0 comma 0 comma 0 to uh, a comma 0 comma 0 and just so that we can distinguish it let's color it. let's color color it to so something other than the default yes so this is along the x-axis to reach point a we have to go along x-axis this many number of points uh, or units similarly segment now from this point that is a comma zero comma zero to we have to reach uh, or go along the y-axis so what will that be that would be a comma b comma zero yes so if you notice we went along the x-axis a units then along y-axis b units and now we have to go up along the z-axis so segment what will this be a comma b comma zero to a comma b comma c yes and again let's color them so that we can distinguish them so this is one and this is another right so along the x-axis along the y-axis and along the z -axis. now if you notice um, if i increase these values say 2.1 let me double it right so let me double it and say 2.1 4.2 yes the angle changes right but let me double all the three then what happens 36 will give me 7.2 if i double it. and similarly if i change this to 4.4 .4, although these have changed the angle remains the if you want to verify it let's put the angles along what is that a and i okay so here we have to put capital a and this gives me 62.17 degree okay now similarly angle along a between a and j and similarly angle uh, between a and so let's see this is beta is this and gamma is this let's let's increase the size of this uh, let's increase the size of this let's increase the size of this let's increase the size now let's look at the angles 40 62 63.54 right so let's take it to the home position okay now just remember 60 62 63 40 now what i'm going to do is again go back or divide this by 2 so 4.2 2.1 angles have changed yes 
okay now let's make this 3.6 but now let's change this to 2.2 and see what happens you see we go back to the original angles right so which means that this is called the ratio direction ratio we have to go along the x direction so many units y so many units z so many units and if we maintain this ratio of a is to b is to c then the angles do not change that means direction ratios are uh, proportional to the direction cosines what is the relationship what is the relationship between the direction ratio and direction cosines so we know a then the direction cosine which is l m n n and each one of them is cos alpha cos beta cos cos gamma so let's say l is equal to right now what do i do i want to evaluate say alpha but without actually using this angle so i'll use the direction ratios that is abc so what i'll do is a divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square this is 0.47 right now what is the this is remember this is the direction cosine i already have angle alpha so i will say what is cos of alpha so to type alpha let's go to the keyboard yes 0.47 so here also it is 0.47 so whether we use this formula or whether we directly calculate cos alpha in both cases it is 0.47 and the same thing you will notice in case of the other two also so let's say b divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square right so this gives me 0.45 now let's see what happens if i say cos of beta again this is 0 0.45 0 0.45 now let me repeat that exercise of doubling this or let's let's let me triple it yes 2.1 will give me 6.3 yes and this will give me 3.6 10.8 see because of this the angles will keep changing but the moment this is in the same proportion the angles come back to the original so 0 0.45 0 0.45 0 0.47 0 0.47 yes so similarly uh, we have c divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square and if i say cos of gamma 0 0.76 0 0.76 0 0.76 yes so I think you got the idea of direction cosines and direction ratios. If the x, y and z values are in proportion, then the angle doesn't change. Or in other words, the angle doesn't depend on the length of this vector. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.